Botox injections in the bladder. Botox injections. Absolutely. As you know, that's used all over the body these days. Yes. It's used by neurologists for migraines and in the shoulders and neck for torticollis. We've been using it in the bladder for quite a number of years. We're able to do those injections right in the office setting. The patient literally drives herself to our office and, and, and gets off the table after a 10 minute procedure and, and carries on with her day. So from my thinking about it, the bladder muscles are in spasm and the Botox re relaxes that muscle That's exactly spasm. right. So think about the bladder as simply a bag that's really made of muscle. It's called the detrusor muscle. Yeah. And if that's overactive or spasming and causing problems, Sometimes by judiciously injecting Botox across the back wall of the bladder, patients can go six months or longer at wow. a time from a single injection with improved quality of life. And that was going to be my next question. How long does the Botox, yes. Botox work? So it can last up to six months or longer, In, in some cases other. longer. We also have, we use a lot of this technology for our, our patients with multiple sclerosis. And with MS patients, we use a little different dosing structure. Some of my MS patients have to come every three or four months to the office. Others are able to go six. And in rare cases, patients can go longer. But the good news is that it's an office-based procedure. Patients don't have to go to the operating room wow. for this, and they don't have to be put under general anesthesia. 